we have a lot of retail companies that shape the experience around their product catalog. Usually the, the business model didn't really change in the last 30 years. It was still brick and, brick and mortar with the catalog uh, and with the same paradigm just shifted to online. Any business that's to date been able to, um, to develop an AI, a data-driven business would um, find themselves perhaps naturally succeeding in being an AI-driven business. You have uh, several layers of competency which overall will allow the business to, to move towards um, more automated decisions um, or uh, some happy medium where you have uh, data-driven decisions which you can then com combine with human intelligence. Technology has to be al always abstract. As, as a end users, as customers, uh, for you it has to be that pure magic that things just happen exactly when you expect them to happen. And so if you think of, you know, you think of a lot of our e-commerce businesses today, they use recommendation engines um, and they're starting to weave personalization into that e-commerce journey. The, the big example is, is Apple, the, the whole experience of, of the product that it just works and it works magically, it's almost second-guessing your thoughts. I think you can move a step beyond that to a scenario such as Netflix or Spotify where the, the customer experience, the user experience is centered around using machine learning to understand more about the customer and based on that understanding, shaping the user journey around them. And so the question would be, where is the Spotify or where is the Netflix of retail? And I think making that jump would be made possible by, uh, by the use of machine learning and AI. And over the next couple of years, we're gonna see several examples of these emerging. So, so I think we are just at the beginning of the journey. And this is exactly where I see the majority of uh, retailers actually moving to, to that space.